Tonight on Sports Central, we'll be going over our college game day location predictions for the 2020 season. And this is something that we do every year. Of course, college game day, if you're not aware, is a show by ESPN where they send a crew out to a certain city every Saturday and they perform their own pregame show. And so, yeah, it's actually a pretty cool experience. I was able to attend college game day last season when Ohio State came to Lincoln to play Nebraska. So, I um, mean, it's a pretty cool experience. And so today I'm going to be going over my predictions as to where this crew is going to go to for every week of the 2020 season. So anyway, with that, let's look at your week one prediction. That's going to be USC and Alabama. And this one was kind of tough. Of course, you got two games. Well, pretty much the only two notable games for this week are Michigan and Washington, along with this one, USC and Alabama. And so, I mean, it's got to be one of these two games. And I think with this one being in a neutral location, I mean, college game day always likes the neutral location. So I'd assume that they will go to USC and Alabama in Arlington, Texas for this one. And of course, I mean, this is a big game too. You can't forget Alabama next season. They don't have two anymore. So this is going to be a big game, especially for Mac Jones or whichever starting quarterback that they're going to have under center. And yeah, for USC as well, this is going to be a big, a big game. Of course, they really need to get off on the right foot. I mean, considering they're a team that I definitely think could be good in the 2020 season, this would be a huge game for them too. So yeah, I think for your week one matchup, they're going to go to Arlington to watch USC and Alabama. But then again, I mean, the other game that could have or could be where they go to is Michigan and Washington. We're not quite sure yet, but once again, this is kind of what I'm expecting. For your week two matchup, we got Ohio State and Oregon. And of course, Oregon last season was a really great team, almost made it to the college football playoff. And of course, they don't have Justin Herbert anymore. So this is going to be a very important game for them, especially if they want any chance of making the college football playoff in the 2020 season. And honestly, the same thing goes for Ohio State. I mean, Ohio State with Justin Fields, and that team looks really good next season. I think they've got a lot of potential to make a big run for the college football playoff next season. So you can't forget about them. Um, but yeah, as far as this game goes, I mean, with it being in Oregon too, that's a tough place to play. So Ohio State's really going to need to come to play in this one. And I think in general, this is going to be a huge one. So college game is going to go to this game in Eugene, Oregon for week two. But you also have a couple of major games this week too, with especially Texas and LSU. Of course, that was a huge game last season. And it's also going to be a huge game this season, I think especially for an LSU team that is also losing a lot of talent after the 2019 season. So huge game for both teams there against or with Texas and LSU. And same with Tennessee and Oklahoma. I and mean, that could be a huge game as well. Can't forget about that. But in the end, I think it's going to be Ohio State and Oregon. Of course, this has been a pretty hyped up matchup for a good year or two now. So this is going to be a, uh, this is going to be a big matchup for sure, especially for both teams. It's going to be very important for either team to win this one. As far as your week three matchup goes, it's going to be in Tuscaloosa for Georgia and Alabama. And this is going to be a huge game here, especially in the SEC. I mean, you got Georgia, which is a team that will really, I think, has the potential to make it to the college football playoff. They've got the talent there, and especially with Jamie Newman now at quarterback. They're looking really good. Then with Alabama, on the other hand, now you got a new quarterback under center with Mac Jones. I mean, he looked good last season, but this is going to be his first major test, I would say. Uh, to see whether or not Mac Jones is a for real quarterback or whether they should uh, look at a different one. But of course, once again, for Georgia, I mean, yeah, I mean, this Georgia team's also looking really good next season. So for in general, I mean, this team is looking, or this game is looking really good. So I'd say you know, week three is pretty much a no brainer for me. I think Georgia and Alabama is the clear cut pick for college game day to go to for this week three match. I mean, of course, you got only one other notable game in week three, I would say. And that would be Florida State and Boise State. And quite honestly, both of those teams, I don't really expect much out of next season. But I had to put a notable game there. So I'd say that's probably the next best matchup for college game day in week number three. And who knows? I mean, they've been to Alabama so many times, they may want to switch it up and go to Boise State. Who knows? I mean, that would be kind of an interesting switch up. And I'm sure, I mean, college game day, knowing them, they usually go to a group of five conference teams location at some point in the season. So... They could also do it at the beginning of the season, who knows, but I think it's going to be in Alabama for this game next season. I mean, this is going to be too big of a matchup to pass up on. It's also a rematch, I believe, of the national championship a couple years back, so this is, in general, just going to be a huge matchup no matter what. As far as your week four matchup goes, I got Florida and Tennessee, another big SEC matchup, and it's going to be in Knoxville. Uh, of course, Florida next season is a team that is somewhat hyped up, and then you got Tennessee, of course which is probably the most polarizing team of all in all of college football next season. I mean, I've heard some people that absolutely hate them next season. Some people have them going 4-8 and eight or 5-7. and seven. And Then I also hear some people saying that they're going to go 9-3 and three or 10-2. and two. So, I mean, that team is very, I mean, it's very tough to predict how they're going to do next season. I'm kind of on the end. I think Tennessee is going to be a great team next season. I think, um, I think they could easily get up to 8 wins. And I, I mean, I'm not sure about 9, 
but I think like seven to eight wins is probably the ballpark where I'd expect Tennessee to be. But this is going to be a huge game in general. I mean, with it being in Tennessee, which is a very tough place to play, especially if they've got a home field advantage considering all that's gone on recently, who knows if they're even going to be able to have fans in the stadium. But I mean, if they do, this Tennessee team is going to be um, red hot at home. So that's going to be a huge game for them, especially against a Florida team that is looking very good next season as well. You can't forget about Florida and Kyle Trask, which I would consider to be the most underrated quarterback in all of college football right now. So this is going to be a huge matchup between Florida and Tennessee. Can't forget about that. And so, yeah, that's going to be your week four matchup. A couple other notable games for this week, though. This is going to be a great week of college football. You got Wisconsin and Michigan also as the um, as the second game. Of course, Wisconsin and Michigan both, I think, next season should be good teams. And, of course, you got Virginia and Clemson, a rematch of the ACC championship last season as well, with that game being in Clemson. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me to see them want to go there as well. So, Honestly, the week four matchup is going to be another SEC one, though, with Ford and Tennessee. I just think this is just going to be the best setup for it. Um, so in the end, I mean, I would like to hear your thoughts on your week four. I mean, there are a lot of split opinions, I believe, on the week four matchup. As far as your week five matchup goes, though, I've got Notre Dame and Wisconsin. And this one, I mean, this was another tough one to pick. I mean, you got Penn State and Michigan also this week. Same with Baylor and Oklahoma. But I think with this game being in a neutral location in Green Bay, Wisconsin, of course, I mean, once again, College Game Day really likes the neutral location games, especially uh, just like this one. This one looks like a good matchup where um, College Game Day would totally like to go to. I mean, uh, with it being in Green Bay, of course, that sets up a great, um, a great opportunity. Plus, I mean, in Green Bay, I mean, they hardly ever can go there because, you know, uh, they're a college crew, so they never go to NFL Stadium. So this would be a pretty cool experience, I think, for College Game Day. I think it'd be, I think it'd be a great time in general. I mean, Notre Dame and Wisconsin, both of these teams next season are looking really good, especially Wisconsin. I really like that team this season. So, I mean, in general, this is going to be a great game. It's definitely not going to disappoint at all. And I mean, this could be a close one too. One of the best games of the season, I definitely think could be right here between Notre Dame and Wisconsin. But once again, you also have Penn State and Michigan, which that could easily uh, be the college game to match up. I mean, Penn State next season, I expect to be a top 10 team quite possibly in the Michigan of course I mean who knows how they're going to going to do of course I mean they were expected to be great last season and that ended up being a bust but in the end they could have a great season in 2020 who knows so that could be a big matchup where college game would like to go to as well but in the end I think it's going to be between Notre Dame and Wisconsin in Green Bay as far as the week six matchup goes I got LSU and Florida yet another SEC matchup and I kind of wanted to do Oklahoma and Texas here I mean, that's probably going to be the biggest game of the Big 12 this entire season. I mean, with Oklahoma and Texas, I mean, Texas especially, this is that Texas team definitely, I think, is longing for a great season. And when you got Sam Ellinger in there, this is a very, very important team for, or yeah, a very important season for Texas football. I mean, you got a great recruiting class coming in already, but Sam Ellinger, this would be the perfect season for that Texas team to make a run at the college football playoff. And I mean, I'm not quite certain as to whether or not they'll be able to do it, but I think Texas definitely in general is a team that I think should uh, have potential to make it to 10 wins next season. Expect them to be like the Baylor um, of the 2019 season, but in 2020. You also got Minnesota and Wisconsin in this week, which is going to be a huge Big Ten West matchup. So week six, week six is going to be a huge game. Or, oh, no, sorry, a, week, a huge week for college football. I mean, you got lots of great games this week and lots of very impactful games as well. I mean, LSU and Florida... I would say this in general could easily be, I mean, both LSU and Florida I expect to be pretty evenly matched next season. I mean, you got Florida, which is a team that's definitely on the rise. Meanwhile, LSU is a team that is losing Joe Burrow for the 2020 season and a lot of talent as well. I mean, this is going to be a good matchup here in Gainesville, so I think College Game Day does go to Florida for this matchup. But once again, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them go to Texas for that Oklahoma game as well. I mean, that's always a great matchup between both of those teams, so... I mean, that definitely would not be a missed opportunity at all. As far as Week 7 goes, I got Michigan and Minnesota. A big Big Ten matchup, of course. Michigan next season is another team that I think should easily, I mean, have a, make a run at 9 wins at least, possibly even 10. And so it's going to be a big game for them. Same for Minnesota. I mean, Minnesota's a team next season that I think has got the potential with Tanner Morgan to make a big run at the Big Ten West. And I think um, they could easily win that division next season. It's all up to them. And Wisconsin, in my opinion, of course, you got a couple other teams in the background, but I mean, Wisconsin is the biggest threat. So I think Minnesota next season and at this point in the season for Minnesota, especially uh, this is going to be a very important game for them to be able to win. I mean, because if Michigan or if Minnesota loses this game, 
I definitely think that definitely is going to be very detrimental to their chances of winning the division. So I think this in general is going to be the most important game of the week. And you also have Texas A&M and Auburn in this week. But I just don't think College Game Day goes to another SEC matchup, uh, considering they've already been to two or three. So, um, yeah, Texas A&M and Auburn would also be a huge matchup. But I think they go to Michigan and Minnesota in, at the end of the day. And you also got Oklahoma and Iowa State in this week, too. That could be a big matchup, considering Iowa State always plays really well against Oklahoma at home. So, I mean, that could be a big matchup as well. Who knows, a big upset could occur in that game, too. I mean, that, that would not surprise me at all to see Iowa State beat Oklahoma but in the end, Michigan and Minnesota, both of these teams looking pretty good next season. I think they go to Minneapolis for week number seven. As far as your week eight matchup goes, you got Ohio State and Penn State, in which both of these teams last season, I mean, they already, they all, almost every season, they have a big dogfight for that, um, for that win of the Big Ten East. And so I think that's going to continue for this 2020 season. And good thing is for Penn State next season, I think that they definitely could uh, compete right up to Ohio State so this is going to be great for them to be able to have it at home and so for Penn State and Ohio State next season this is easily the most I mean the most important game of the Big Ten East every year I mean because Ohio State and Penn State are always duking it out for that top spot and I think easily this could easily be um, the I mean this is the easy pick for sure I mean you got Oklahoma State and Oklahoma this same week too which that's going to be a huge matchup. I think Oklahoma State next season is going to be a team that's going to be great. We also have Alabama and Tennessee. Don't forget about that. But in the end, I think Ohio State and Penn State has got, I mean, that's got some huge national implications. And Ohio State in general really needs to win this game if their chances of making the college football playoff are going to stay alive. So I think at this point in the season, Ohio State and Penn State will be your best bet for week number eight. As far as week number nine goes, you got Florida and Georgia, another huge SEC East matchup. I mean, Florida next season, I've already talked about them quite a bit. I'm pretty high on that Florida team for this 2020 season. And I mean, same with Georgia with Jamie Newman at quarterback. I think they're looking very good too. So, I mean, this is going to be a huge matchup for the SEC or SEC East. I think whichever team wins this game here again with Florida and Georgia will likely go on to win the division and possibly make it to the college wall playoff if they're able to knock off uh, whichever SEC West team makes it to the championship game and so I mean this is going to have a huge um, this is going to have a huge impact um, on on the SEC in general and this is going to be in Jacksonville too so it's going to be in a neutral location so that's going to be good for both teams um, so it's, I mean, there's no one with any home field advantage, but in the end, I mean, you also have a couple other big games this week with Baylor in Texas, along with Auburn and Mississippi state. I mean, that Baylor and Texas game, especially could be a big one for this week. Number nine, but in the end, I think Florida and Georgia gets the best bet. Of course, once again, I mean, especially with it being a big divisional rivalry, I think week nine would be a perfect bet for Ohio or for Florida and Georgia to make it into this game. As far as week 10 goes, I got Alabama and LSU, and this is always a huge matchup every season between both of these teams. And I mean, I think they're going to continue to go to college, or College Game is going to go to LSU this season in Baton Rouge. I think Alabama next season, I mean, they're a toss up team. It's really tough to say whether or not they're going to be good next season. But with Mac Jones, of course, I mean, I expect them to be a team to watch out for next season. And same with LSU, I mean, it's always super tough to play there, especially in a night game. So. I mean, this is going to be a big matchup. I think for college game day, I could easily also see them going to Clemson and Notre Dame. I mean, that's another big game you got to watch out for. But I mean, yeah, Penn State and Nebraska also could be a huge matchup, especially if Nebraska is looking good at that point in the season. I mean, Penn State's still trying to gun for that Big Ten championship game. Um, if they do beat Ohio State in that week seven or eight matchup, I mean, that yeah, that Penn State team is going to really need to get a win there. So that could be another matchup where this team could or where college game day could go to but i think in the end it's going to be alabama and lsu i mean this is always once again a big matchup every year and always is a great turnout every year too there's always a great matchup between both these teams so i could be a good bet to go to baton rouge for this one as far as week 11 goes i got baylor and iowa state and this is going to be your one big big 12 matchup and of course week 11 is going to be a bit of a slower one of course you got you got a couple other good games with ucf and temple and Miami and Virginia Tech. But I think Baylor and Iowa State in the end probably gets um, probably gets the best bet. I think both of these teams next season should be top four teams in the Big 12. So it also could still have big implications on who makes it to the Big 12 championship. So you can't forget about that. Um, and Iowa State always plays really well at home. So you can't forget about that as well. So uh, yeah, I think, I think they go to Ames for this one. But it would not surprise me at all for this week to be kind of the weird week where they go to a group of five conference teams location and so that's why i've got ucf and temple 
as the next best game for college game day in this week. I think UCF, I mean, next season, they've got a lot of potential to be a great team. Same with Temple. I think Temple has potential to improve a ton next season as well. So that could be a big matchup, especially for the American Athletic Conference. So I think UCF and Temple would definitely be a good bet. But I think at the end, um, at the end of the day, that they go to Iowa State for Baylor um, and Iowa State in this matchup. For Week 12, I've got Utah and Arizona State, your Pac-12 matchup as well. I mean, this is going to be a big game, too. You can't forget that Arizona State is a team that is definitely on the rise right now. Of course, last season, they really surprised a lot of people. And then they got Jaden Daniels, of course, at quarterback. He's looking very good. He's a dark horse Heisman contender, in my opinion. So I think, I mean, especially for Utah being a team that I think could have um, a good chance at winning that South Division, I mean, you got Arizona State also in there. This could be a huge, uh, this could be a huge matchup, and it could also have huge implications on who makes it to the Pac-12 championship. Uh, so you can't forget about that at all. And so yeah, I, I honestly, I, I honestly think whoever wins this game here between Utah and Arizona State in Week 12 will likely go on uh, to the Pac-12 championship. So this is going to be a big matchup. But I mean, you also have LSU and Auburn. But the only problem is with that game is I think College Game Day at this point in the season will have gone to too many SEC matchups. So I think that they want to go to a Pac-12 matchup instead. And you also have Louisville and Notre Dame. They may want to go to Indiana for, or to see Notre Dame, but who knows? I think they're going to go to Utah and Arizona State at the end. For Week 13, and this is, I'm sure, not a big surprise, but we got Michigan and Ohio State in Columbus. And I think this Ohio State team next season, I mean, this is a team that I think has a lot of potential to win a national championship. I definitely think this could be uh, Ohio State season and I mean yeah I definitely think I mean especially with Michigan they've never really been able to beat Ohio State in the Jim Harbaugh era in fact I don't even think they've beaten Ohio State yet in the Jim Harbaugh era which has lasted for several years now and so for Michigan to get over the hump in this game is going to be very important for Jim Harbaugh especially I think if Jim loses this game or if Harbaugh loses this one he could definitely be on the hot seat at this point in the season because I don't expect Michigan to be a team that goes undefeated next season. I think that they can get to nine wins, but that's honestly about it. So for Michigan, this is going to be a huge game for them and especially for Jim Harbaugh to win this one. And for Ohio State too, it's also a huge game for them because if they lose this one to Michigan, if they slip up here, that quite possibly gives Penn State the, um, the Big Ten championship bid. And it also uh, completely cancels out Ohio State's chances of winning or going even going to the college football playoffs. So this is going to be a huge game for Ohio State especially. And I think week 13, I mean, this is always a great rivalry. Probably my favorite one, to be honest with you, between Michigan and Ohio State. It's always a very great game between these teams. And I mean, you also have Alabama and Auburn, the Iron Bowl. That would be a good matchup here. And you also have LSU and Texas A&M. I mean, that could be a good matchup as well. So, um, But at the end of the day, I think that they go to this Big Ten matchup in this huge rivalry in between Michigan and Ohio State. Anyway, that about wraps up our college game day game predictions or actually our location predictions for the 2020 season. I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what you think about these. If you disagree with anything here, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that as well. But um, yeah, once again, if you enjoyed this, be sure to slap a like on it and subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But as always, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central, and I'll see you all later.